Hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I must say this right off the bat, I do have all the DLC. Why? Because I bought this again recently, and we now have DLC. But, we're not going to talk about the DLC yet, because we're going to start a new game. Yes, we did a stream uh, playthrough of this not too long ago, maybe like, what, over a year ago? Like, but I've always wanted to do a let's play of this game. Why? I think this game is actually really cool and really interesting. The problem is, I'm not the greatest at this game. If you guys expect like masterful gameplay and uh, a style you've never seen before, no, you're not getting that. Get ready for me to like just not be the best or the greatest at this. As we're playing, that's why we're playing on the vanilla mode. You're not playing on the master mode or anything like that. Why? Simply because I don't trust myself. But I do think this is actually a pretty good game for the Legend of Zelda series. For those who don't know, I started playing Zelda with the Oracle game, I believe. If not the Oracle games, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And to be fair, both games are really good, but I was more into the 3D Legend of Zelda games. This game being a 3D Legend of Zelda game has really piqued my interest and also has made me feel a lot more appreciation towards Zelda. But of course, this kind of does go into its own flaws. With the appreciation that I give the Legend of Zelda series, I can see why people can't get into it with this game. Mostly because this game is kind of on the hard side, it's not really the greatest way of getting into the game series. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, for those who've played Zelda or just, like, like puzzle games slash action games, this would definitely be up your alley. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the hate this game has been getting. Because I don't know if it's just, like, me talking to my friends and bringing up pointless banter. But I do like a lot of the stuff in this game. Which we'll talk about more and more as we go into the series. But for right now, we're in the we're in the tutorial, and yes, I'm keeping the HUD on. Why? Simply because I don't memorize the controls all that well, even though I did a practice run of this game like two or three days ago. Not enough time for me to remember how to play it though, apparently. Take it. So yes, I did do a practice run, but I also took a couple times to just not play the game, so I was kind of on and off of the practice run. Also, there's going to be a lot of new things for me, because once again, I've only seen one of the DLCs in this game. I've only seen the Master Sword Trials, I believe, the Sword Trials, and I'm not going to do that in recording, or I might, it depends on my feelings. But as it stands right now, I have no interest in doing that on recordings. I might do it as a stream, so get ready for Breath of the Wild streams, but... Yeah, don't expect any recordings at the very least. So now we get old, you know, old stuff to wear. I'm not gonna wear it though. Why? Because this game doesn't force you to wear stuff. You can literally play this game naked if you want. Do I recommend it? Nope. <laughs> just, just nope, nope. But yeah, we have now voice acting in Legend of Zelda, which, I mean, I appreciate. It's not bad. But I also do like reading the text, because like, not everything's voice acted, thankfully. But yeah, I, I, I like reading text too, sometimes. It's nice. And I will like to talk about the story a bit, but we also haven't got to the point where we're going to really learn about the story until much later. You are the light. So, for oh. right now... Let's go out, reach the light, and see what Hyrule is like. And we have a Sprint Meter, which was introduced in Skyward Swords, I believe. So for those who don't like uh, Skyward Swords or mechanics like it, eh, you'll probably not like this game. But I also do highly recommend trying this game out at the very least. This guy is really worth it, and the world is so pretty. 
This is so pretty! That is one thing I'll always give Breath of the Wild. I think the game looks super pretty. And like, people could probably say like, oh, it doesn't look that great compared to like, oh, say Twilight Princess. No, I, I think it's on par with Twilight Princess, because like, as much as people know I like Twilight Princess, I like Twilight Princess. I'm in love with this art style. And, you know, to be fair, I've, I have gone in the past, and I said I think Twilight Princess is my second Ocarina of Time. Like, that was definitely a game I felt really attached to. But Breath of the Wild, although definitely not the greatest, it, it's got a place in my heart. So right over here, we got a stick, our first weapon. Yep, we don't even get a sword. We don't get the Gokiri sword or anything from past Legend of Zelda games. So we gotta make do with what we got. Also, Hylian Shrooms. Yup, there's no recovery hearts in this game, but you could use items to heal your um, stuff up. So shrooms, uh, apples later, and various other material could be used to like heal you. So, I mean, whenever I can, I'm going to try to pick them up just because I really need the health, because I'm not... As I said, this will not be a flawless run of Breath of the Wild. If I die, I die. Woohoo. Oh, cry me a river. But the major thing about this kind of game is just have fun with it. Don't try to force anything that you don't want to do, and don't really do a lot of things that, you know, you just don't want to really think about doing. That's the joy of this game, and also kind of a blessing for the Zelda series, because there's a lot of things you could just strip skip on. If you'll play Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, there are some stuff that you just can't really skip. And this does go into a topic of um, the main uh, style of this game. Yep, it is freeformed. You could do whatever you want, basically. Will I be doing that? No, I will be showing a like guide-ish video series of how to do stuff or how I do stuff. Also, who are you? You are literally just called Old Man. Are you going to give me a sword and say it's dangerous to go alone? Okay. Can I mean a simple circumstance? I should tell you. This is the Great Plateau. Well, I didn't work place in the Kingdom of Hyrule. Okay. You are also very tall. That temple over there, a long time ago, was the same, uh, same, 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 okay. Sorry, I, I might be just glancing over the dialogue, just like I want to have a rough idea of what's going on. And, can I take your app, please? I do not believe that, uh, that... This is my big apple, and you cannot go. Like... <laughs> Ow. Thank you. But also, this brings up a cool thing with this game. You could bake your food. Yep. You can just throw whatever you want near fire. It'll burn, like catch fire a bit. And there's something new. Tasty high and true. It will heal more, but sometimes you want the base fruit, or the base element of the thing. Just due to the fact that you know, you might want to do something basic. Use the weapon, set things on fire. It's a secret. Hmm. Do as you please. There's plenty of monsters ahead of them. Remember to use that as a weapon. Yep, yeah, I do remember that this uses a weapon. But I'm also doing this as a little thing, because there is physics in this game. Yep, oh, sorry. Sorry, old man. But, take a fire, take a torch. You can light under a fire. That's really cool. Not very useful or practical, but I mean, it's there. But also, it goes into uh, weapons. Light weapons are, you know, stuff you can swing very fast. Also, hello? I. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. I don't want to. Not yet. I know how to access the Sheikah Slate. So, light weapons, like torches and tree branches. And then we got heavy weapons, like the axe here. And I didn't want to show that off just yet, but there is a charge move, so that's the heavy weapons usually. There's a lot of damage, and light weapons, 
you do your classic great spin or uh, spin attack. For those who play other Legends of Zelda games, that should feel right home for you. But we're not really here just for that, because yep. The destruction of Koroks right off the bat. For those who do not know, Koroks were originally from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And Koroks have been slowly becoming a staple of the Legend of Zelda series. I don't really know what to feel about them because I know a little too much about the like history and stuff like that. So, for those who don't know, the Koroks are basically the Kokiri from Ocarina of Time. In some semblance of the word. Yep. So, they are tree people, and they never grow old, and they will see everyone die before they even attempt to die. Also, I, I want fish. Fishy fish. Okay, fine, I won't have a fish. Oh, there's a frog over there. Eh, later. For right now, we could actually go get another weapon. That will be much more useful than the one we got currently. So, you know this uh, tree branch we got? Out of here. Throw it in the water, get a rusty sword. Broadsword. It's one-handed. I generally go for one-handed weapons in this game just because like, they're easier to use and... Kind of more on the, like, safe side for a lot of things. So, if you guys will permit me, let's go and see what is in the shrine over here. Or temple, or so to speak of. Yep, the Temple of Time. If people remember Ocarina of Time or a lot of other games like Twilight Princess, the Temple of Time is what held the Master Sword. And for those who don't know what the Master Sword, we'll get into that a bit later. But in this game, it doesn't really have that much of a purpose for the most part. We'll get into the purpose a bit later, as, you know, given with my style. But just know that this is here, and we just oh, we just killed a Bokoblin. Bokoblin? Bokoblin? Okay, it's Bokoblin. What, what's a Bokoblin? Oh, Bokoblins are the thing from Wind Waker. From Wind Waker. Let's go. Yeah, people might not know what I'm referring to with that one, but I know what I'm referring to. And Traveler's Bow. Now we have two different types of weapons. Melee and long range. Yep, we gotta play around with quite a bit. Yep. Also, pots, uh, you have something in you, don't you? A single arrow. I mean, that works for what I want to do. Five arrows, six arrows, okay. Got six arrows, and that's really all we get, don't we? Okay, that might not work for what I want to do, but I will make it work. So, just taking over, taking a look at the Great Plateau. Not really anything to do right off the bat, or what it would seem to do right off the bat. But, oh, crap. But as I said, this game is very open in a lot of aspects, and this just happens to be one of the many. We're going to find a lot of places and a lot of things to do across our journey. For right now, I want to just focus on just building up a bit of a story and building up a bit of a like, reason why we'll be doing this stuff. The reason for this one in particular is just early game weapons, and they're nice to do. So, if we see a bulk of Blin, shoot in the head, critical shot. And see that rope right over there? There's enemies in there. How about we give them a nice, nasty surprise? By blowing them up. And a bulk of Blin blow, which is weaker than the Traveler's bow, which is fine. Plus. And there, we got rid of the Boba Blin. So, this also goes into this, the style of Legend of Zelda 1. The enemies, the blue enemies are the harder ones. The red enemies are generally the weaker ones. But, there are some enemies that just don't have color. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and we're not going to be doing a lot of stuff with that. So, we got the Boba Club, because our... You know, broadsword's gonna break on us. And yes, weapons will break. I do not recommend relying on one particular weapon or a weapon type. I'd like to keep a variety of weapons on me. 
But a good amount of weapons I like to use are one are are light uh, single-handed weapons, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I can't show it off yet, but if you get a secret attack or a sneak attack on enemies, they are I use the wrong button. I use the wrong button and jump. I am going to heal. Yeah, you can you can heal like that. Don't don't feel ashamed if you need to heal like that. That's very useful. And with this, we got a scared stake. Yay! There's a much easier way of doing this of shoot an arrow into the explosive barrels and then it just kind of blows up in their face. But I like to take stuff a little bit on the head on approach and it's not always the greatest. But yeah, thankfully, all my weapons, all the weapons I like to use are single hand weapons, so they're not really that much of a trouble. Also, you two got those. <laughs> There we go, smack it over the head, and every time a weapon breaks, it actually does critical damage. So, the uh, times two shot with the headshots and critical damage also really helps. Gotcha. So that's pretty easy, we got to our first objective, right off the bat. Also, we got our introduction to shields! I don't like using shields all that much, actually, believe it or not. A traveler sword, that's better than what we got... Well, what we had originally. So now, let's activate something that will be very useful to us. And Link's looking like, what do I do? Maybe I put the slate in here. So, she gets a uh, tower activated. She can tower activate. I cannot read that right. Please, please watch for falling rocks. Okay. Also, I didn't really talk about this, but the uh, or Sheikins, um, they have a really big role to play in Ocarina of Time. Believe it or not, the Sheikins were the royal family's assistants or assassins in Ocarina of Time. I don't really know what they are in this game because they really do come off as more assistant-like characters. But it's really cool to understand the fact that, you know, all this ties in to a lot of things later in the series. And I believe Breath of the Wild, I don't know where it falls into the timeline, but I don't really care all that much. Like, people who know me, I do like the Zelda timelines and stuff. Doesn't mean I'm gonna just follow them super, like, obviously. I'm gonna, like, just go make my own assumptions, do certain things like that. But yeah. It's just something I want to note. Some little also trivia for you guys who might not know about a lot of it. And plus, this is the Great Great Plateau Tower. I read that really weirdly. And now we get a map of the surrounding area. So clearly we're on the, we're on the Great Plateau. So we're going to get the uh, Great Plateau map. This Hyrule, or yeah, no, it, it is Hyrule. This Hyrule is actually pretty freaking big. So, yeah, we're going to have a lot of videos of just us getting to towers or us doing stuff like that. So get ready for it, and I hope that you guys don't hate what I do with this. As I said, it's going to be kind of like how I play a video game. Not so much like what's the most... Um, Effective way of playing. Years. <laughs> also, I hope my TV is pick up on the mic. Hold when on. the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. I'm gonna take a drink of water because I have enough time to do that now. <sighs> yep, that's super scary. <laughs> You must hurry, Link. I don't need to be told what to do. Look, I've played a Zelda game before. I've been around the rodeo enough. The rodeo enough. That's Super Mario song. That was not the Legend of Zelda one I wanted to do. Whoops. So, let's make our way down the tower, shall we? Down the tower, cause I don't want to fall from this height, cause this will actually kill me very fast. 
Oh, hey! Hi! Hello, old man. My, my, if it, uh, it would seem that you've been quite an enigma here. Quite, oh, you found an enigma. I could talk. I <laughs> didn't read. I heard a voice. No. Cut sight of the castle. I did. That is Clan A hundred years ago, the violence you um, was brought in Ireland from the world. Uh huh. So I'm going to be like reading the dialogue on my own face and I won't really say a lot. I must a ask you, courageous one, do you uh, intend to make your way into the castle? Yes, I do. I had a feeling you'd say that. Here on the... What? About those two cliff sides of the way down. If you're to uh, try to jump off... What? Well, no deaf could be more certain for, or more foolish. I could read. Um, yeah, a paraglider like mine, that would be a different another story. Okay. <laughs> Trade. Go to the treasure of slumbers near. Okay. Isolated plateau. Don't worry, I, I don't need to check. I don't want to do anything for the most part. So with this, we have begin our begin our first actual step to becoming the hero that the Lynx are known for throughout the time of history, and also there, Hylian Bass. Ah, uh, no fishing rod required, even though I kind of wish it was a fishing rod so I could catch stuff easily, but not absolutely necessary. So he's gonna tell you like to do certain things and to try stuff, but I'm gonna just take you guys right along to the parts where we're gonna have to really know about. So an ancient gear, we're getting a lot of stuff, aren't we? And my mom's phone is really loud. Great. Anywho, um, yeah, let's just go to the first thing that looks ominous. And the first thing that looks super ominous is this thing right here. Woo, treasure chest. Oh, right, because I got DLC. I think this is just... Yeah, look here! DLC stuff. And with this, we have confirmed a Sheikah Slate. Or, the Sheikah Reader has confirmed a Sheikah Slate. So, here is actually one of the things I actually, well, actually, I say actually way too much. One of the things I really enjoy in Breath of the Wild that I don't think a lot of people talk about and a lot of people understand that why people enjoy it. For me, it'll become a lot more apparent as we play it. So we're going down to our first little mini dungeon. So we got first taste of a mini dungeon. Too bad mini dungeons will not last at all as long as some mini dungeons in like Osei Twilight Princess. Why? Mostly because I know what I'm doing. Or I'm just usually really decent at solving puzzles. Magnetism! Yep. Remember how in every Legend Zelda game you'd have like troubles going to the menu, picking out what you want, making sure you have what you need? This game kind of alleviates you from that grief, for the most part. There are, is still a couple things that will irritate someone, but not as much as the older games. Which, I mean, I enjoy. I don't really mind it, because it makes the combat feel really nice and loose. But there are times where I just kind of like the old system a little better. The Ruin! The Ruin has been expanded or whatever. Yep, I now use the Ruin. So, magnetism. Whatever we see that is metal, we can just pick up and chuck somewhere else.
That's the great thing about magnetism, and magnetism also has a lot of puzzle elements attached to it. Puzzle elements that you might not think about right off the bat. And just like any puzzle in the Legend of Zelda game, there's multiple ways of solving them. Like this one, if I could show it off, please. Put it like right there? Yeah, right there. No, this will work. I have done this before, I know it works. There. So we come up here. We don't see what we need to do. Right. Oh, time to do what the game wants you to do. Whee! Yep, you don't even have to fight this thing with your sword. You can just do that the entire time. But, yeah, puzzle solutions are always generally easier than you guys think. Unless you're me, who almost flew that right off the cliff. Also, these shrines, I didn't say the shrines, I think, well, I think it's very apparent that the shrines. These shrines will always have one or two hidden treasure chests in them that will give you a great reward. This was a traveler's bow. Not really the greatest, but not really the worst. So, if we complete every shrine, we get a nice little dead monk. I'm assuming that's meant to be a monk. Because it's in the same style as, like, monks and stuff. Whatever, you guys get the idea. I will not be showing all the dialogue for this. I'm just going to show the tutorial ones because... It's the tutorial, and we should probably, like, see all this. Also, each monk is the one that built the trials. Oh, there you go, monk was blessed by the sight of the goddess Halia and all that. So, with completing a trial, his duty is now fulfilled. His, yeah, his, monks are usually men. Usually, not always, I don't get into a debate of, like, what's what. Please accept the spiritual orb. Yep, spiritual orbs is the main goal for the shrines. I will be skipping every dialogue like that, because all it says is, like, oh, you fulfilled your stuff, or you did that. So, minus the tutorial ones, which are these ones that we're not going to skip, I'll skip everyone else, like, open the shrines up, all that. Because it just takes time, and we've seen the cutscenes so many times. Aiming controls! Sometimes, uh, some items like the uh, bow also allow you to use the tilting, blah, 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 basically motion controls and how I use them. I, I use them kind of sometimes, here and there. They're one of the weird things where I feel like I like to use, but not all the time. Hello, little guy. Spirit runner, well done. What the heck is that word? Okay. As one gets older, it becomes more difficult to see you while it penetrates right before one's eyes. One's eyes. Whichever the hidden. Okay. <laughs> The Sheikah Slate on your hip. You hear on your hip. Okay. Also, highly advised and uh, trying to. Okay. Wisdom of the Kingdom. Yep. New technology. Yep. Thank you. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. It's like. The plateau, I believe, has still three more. <laughs> Correct. So that's more I need to do. The treasure I never just. Can we get her? Yep. Yeah, I know. And got it. Thankfully, I've done the tutorial enough, I kind of know where I'm going at all times. But yeah, there might be times where I'm going to show it off, like, oh, let's go here or let's go there. 
but for right now, I think there's a little stuff, there's some little stuff, little things we could do with the Madden system power up. Case point, game is going to test out of the uh, water. Kick it! Break your foot! Amber. Eh, that's useful. But I'll have to try to find the water. Opal. Oh, cool. We have a couple things that sell really well, actually. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. I will see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Breath of the Wild, where we go across the Great Plateau, find stuff we could use.